For a year now, here at St. Paul's, the pandemic has prevented us from gathering together as a community to hear one another laugh, to sing with one another, to see how tall our children are getting. And we haven't been able to gather around the Lord's table to be tangibly reminded in the bread and wine that God is unrelentingly for us and with us. And while for us these are unprecedented times, the church has weathered storms in the past. Wars, famine, plagues, persecution, you name it. And we will in the future. And so down the centuries, Christians have devised ways to still stay rooted in Jesus and to spiritually nourish themselves. And one of the ancient practices of the church to do just that is called spiritual communion. Now the practice of spiritual communion when we are physically uh, not able to gather together because of circumstances beyond our control, it teaches us that our desire for Jesus, this enables us to commune with him. The ancient church recognized this fact for when people were either martyred or they died before they were able to be baptized. While they couldn't physically receive baptism, they were sanctified by a baptism of desire. And a scriptural example is when the thief on the cross next to Jesus was also dying and Jesus welcomed the thief with him into paradise based on the thief's desire to be with Jesus. Jesus, remember me in your kingdom. And so whenever Christians are physically prevented from coming together for Holy Communion, we have the opportunity to make a spiritual communion. And our, our very own Book of Common Prayer even makes provision for this on page 584 for those who are very sick. And so starting on Monday, Thursday, and then on Easter day, we're going to celebrate communion right here in our church. And because sadly, we're not gonna be able to gather together to receive the bread and wine, uh, a short prayer will come up on the screen and I'll invite you to say that prayer from the safety of your home. And you will be able to spiritually in your heart uh, commune with Jesus, to be comforted, to be encouraged. Do join us during Holy Week to remember and to give thanks. And if you have any questions about spiritual communion, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to hear from you.